The RAs are people, just like you and me, uh, though albeit sad, lonely people who spend all of their time working on their homes. The RAs are a secret, top secret, super, super secret society of students bent on destroying everything we know and love about college. They are a terrorist group of people that want to destroy the American people and crumble our basic human rights. Hmm, they're murderers of fun. RAs do not like enjoyment or festivities of any kind. They're walking amongst you and you don't really know who they could be. They could be anyone. There's three types of people in the world. Bad police, bad politicians, and bad RAs. And they, they all come from the same exact type of childhood. Well, RAs try to uh, say that they do this for financial reasons because they don't get room and board, which is very true. But I think it takes a certain type of person to have that kind of power. Kind of power, kind of power. They have no real authority. I mean, I guess they can try, but you can't scare me. But be careful. RAs are not to be trusted. RAs aren't necessarily out to help you. They're out to make sure that the living environment is safe. So if you're degenerate, RAs are gonna be out to get you, no matter what. Main rule is don't fucking trust anyone. The only person who's gonna have your back is you. What people often forget when they're living in dorm style housing is that the RA is just another person living in your building. And if you treat them as such, they're gonna pay it back to you tenfold. So there are two types of RAs. There are the really cool ones that give you a, a few warnings here and there, and then there are the ones that just want to ruin, ruin your ruin life. You just stick up done. their ass. Say this. Right yep. Yeah. RAs are students just like the rest of us, but they also have to take on the additional responsibility of dealing with you when you're drunk and you're not supposed to be. You see, to be on good terms with them, you gotta know their name. You gotta say, hey, what's up? How was your night? When you're doing your rounds? You know, gotta. Just got another name. You know, I ignored all of my RAs for the past two years, and I started talking to mine this year, and it's a lot better relationship, you know? So, talk to your RA. I try to be friends with all my RAs because I'm not an idiot. Because I understand if I rub their d they'll rub mine. They hate the side yeah. hugs. <laughs> they hate the, you're like, that's oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, like get no, off the, me. Yeah, the worst thing you can do is be like, listen. <laughs> no, don't, you know, don't be a dick to your RA. That's, that's what it comes down to. If you're like blatantly just like, oh, you're an RA, I don't like you, like that's not cool. Don't do that. Kill them with kindness, be really respectful and understanding, and then soberly the next day deal with uh, deal with it if it's unjust. I kind of feel bad for them now that we're talking I about know. it. I know, we're. I feel a little bad. There must be lonely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the reason for skipping comes from her, from me. It's like, I'm in her room, she's like, skip, come on. Well, that's when you duck out early. You pull the old backpack during break. In the Empire State, in the concrete jungle. But which one is better? We're about to find out.